hi <laughs> i've never done any video like this but basically i'm doing a step-by-step -step guide of how to start a <laughs> youtube channel or really, it's not really how to start a youtube channel it's basically like what i use because personally i'm a, like i'm quite a nosy person like as soon as i watch a youtuber i'd instantly i'd instantly want to know how they edited it so if you're nosy like me or like you do want to start a channel i don't know i would say just like do it why not like you only live once can i just say i was like i'm really into tiktok right now i tried my i tried my hardest to not get addicted again but i've got addicted again right and I was scrolling from my For You page and I came across a Ginny and Georgia um, like fan edit and it was like really funny because Ginny threw like a tampon at Hunter in slow motion and I found it really funny. I just thought like I'll tell you guys. So first of all obviously you want to talk about like what you're going to be using to record it and I'm very very lucky. I cannot express to you how happy I am but I have the Canon G7X. I've been wanting this camera for so long it is my year seven dream and i'm so happy obviously you don't need a camera there's so many famous youtubers and like people out there who use their phones um i use i used my iphone 8 i know um for years um i have a tripod again you don't need a tripod it's not a necessity but if you do want to you know spice up have a little tripod my camera is on a tripod and every all the links they're down there just saying so for editing if you do want to edit on your phone i would recommend highly i would highly recommend inshot i'm that type of person who would download like every single editing app and just see how it is but inshot is the one that has never disappointed it's free there is like a pro version which is like 12 pounds a year i believe i had the pro version for a couple years like it's good but it's still really good without it is a little hack so at the bottom right hand corner there should be like a watermark and if you click the x on that and remove it once for free i believe it just removes it the whole time but but if anything happens don't say it was me okay there's like there's our little secret <laughs> you can also use imovie i'm sure there's like lots of other editing apps but i highly recommend inshot if you're editing on a laptop or pc i would really recommend davinci resolve i think that's how you pronounce it it is the best editing experience i've ever had it's absolutely amazing never disappointed me it's actually really easy to use obviously if you use an imac i'd recommend like final cut pro or or imovie davinci resolve actually works really well on the pc and a laptop like i usually edit on my pc but if i just want to edit in bed like my laptop still works really well with it and it's not laggy or glitchy whatsoever for thumbnails most people make their thumbnails on photoshop but if you're not good at Photoshop or you don't have the application, I recommend these two apps on your phone, which are called Super Impose and Fonto. <laughs> so Super Impose is um, a good app where you can edit it and cut like your people out or like lay it out however you want. And Fonto is really good for text. You can download different texts. I find them both really helpful. Tip, make sure to take your thumbnails. The amount of times I forget to take thumbnails is ridiculous. But if you do forget, do not worry, you can take screenshots of your edited footage and then I use Dropbox just to send them over to my phone to edit. Thumbnails are pretty much the most important thing, like thumbnails are what makes someone click on a video so they might as well be amazing. If you want to screen record anything or like if you do like gaming stuff, I don't know, or you want to screen record something and then put it in your video, I would um, recommend using Streamlabs OBS. OBS is probably more like professional i use streamlabs because i find it way easier to use and for music i go onto youtube i find non-copyrighted music don't use copyrighted music just just don't there's no reason why you should be using copyrighted music it was just a no-no you copy the link and put it into an mp3 converter and then you basically download it and you can use it into your music um recommend putting like the links in like your description of the music you've used i do sometimes forget i cannot lie to you but just try and do it at least um, for like the lightings and backgrounds, I'd like, obviously the main thing is just to have not like massive distractions in the background, like don't film like a window behind you, then you've got like the light shining through, that's just a big no-no. It's like, it's basically just, like this isn't a bad background, but I actually have no, not done a video here, I'd usually do it here. Do you guys, do you recognize that? And I'm actually just sitting at my desk, because it's like, it's more of a chill video, right? It has like some tips, so if you do want to start like, serious videos and stuff okay when i say like serious i don't actually mean like sit there and be boring i mean like actually try like not like as a profession but like actually try and get somewhere i don't really know what i'm talking about but like 
hopefully you get what I mean. Which, by all means, literally do it. Like, you oh, look, YOLO. Like, at this point, like, I'm... I never really wanted to do this, like, probably because I was so, so scared of being judged at school. Someone went up to me today and was like, I found your YouTube channel. And I was like, I sat there like, come again. It's, don't worry. I'm the, such an awkward person and it, like, I'm not, I'm unfazed. Like, it still, like, bothers me. But, like, at this point, I'm like, I just don't care. Like, what are you going to do about it? You going to bring me down? can't bring me down you probably could to be fair like i can get my whole life can change by one comment i can't lie but if you do want to start like serious uploading i would really recommend a like creating a plan so like pick a day you want to upload and then it gives you more motivation to post or like um create ideas of what content you want to post and i also have a, rem a reminders widget on my phone which is like all video ideas which i find really helpful because i'm very like i feel like i'm quite i'm not like an organized person but i like to plan stuff like i, I like prepping and planning a lot or i will probably cry um obviously you need the right like motivation to like do this and stuff but like by all means just do it obviously i don't recommend if you just want to do it for like fun and interest but like if you are out there watching this and you just want to do it for money like no one's stopping you like if you want to get some cash like i can't guarantee anything but i'm not stopping you like get that cash go on do it <laughs> but i would you know i'd rather do it out of interest to be fair because you might not get the same joy out of it as other people do i think i think that's everything bye <laughs>